welcome back to another Super Smash Brothers 64 Classic Mode playthrough. Sorry, had a brain fart there. We just did Mario, we did Donkey Kong, now we're moving on to Link! Do I want to change an outfit? No, we're just going to stay green, Link. We're just going to do normal outfits. As cool as it is to see white tunic and all that stuff with Link. Uh, Link. I think he's considered the worst character in this game. In terms, I think of the tier list, I think it goes Kirby, then Pikachu, from what I recall. Or maybe it's Pikachu, then Kirby. But I think Link is considered the worst. Ow. That's right. Link didn't have a uh, bow and arrow in this, kids. He didn't get that until Melee. He would throw a boomerang. He would have that strange pose. Link's hook shot was amazing in this because <laughs> it doesn't go limp. It just goes straight instead of like in later games where it would come out and then it just flops on the ground. It just goes straight and comes back. I know it's supposed to be a reference to like the um, Super Nintendo claw shot from like Link to the Past or whatever. See, look. See? That's funny to me. And later on it would be like... Burn. This is actually the hook shot, right? Yeah. It didn't turn, turn the claw shot until later on. Which, by the way, I just want to say this, like I said, I did not want to mention anything about Ultimate again until I get to Ultimate, which is going to be a long freaking time. But, when I first did Link's grab in that game, I was like, what the hell? Seeing Link actually grab with his hand instead of throwing some kind of claw out. But, um, another thing. It's cool that they had Orcrate a Time Link in this, and in um, Melee, and then in Brawl and Smash Wii U, they had Twilight Princess, which was disappointing to me with Smash Wii U because I was really hoping for... That shield's gonna break, Yoshi. Thank you. I was really hoping for, like, Skyward Sword looking Link in Smash for Wii U. Same thing with Zelda, because I love Zelda's design in Skyward Sword, but no. No, instead, for Smash for Wii U, they just gave us Twilight Princess again. Which, you know, I'm glad that in Ultimate, they changed everybody up. That Link is Breath of the Wild, Zelda is, what is it, uh, Link to the Past, and Ganondorf is Orcarina of Time. And you get Young Link and Two Link, which, great, that's awesome. But, still, I kind of wish we had a... Um, Skyward Sword Zelda costume. Just for Zelda. Just for Zelda, because I love Zelda's design in Skyward Sword. Except for the nose. The nose really doesn't do it much, but still, I like the pink robe and everything. This was a huge rivalry for me and a friend. I would main Link and he would main Fox. We'd always fight it out like this. Why, you ask? I don't know. Why do I say it's a rivalry? Because I'm my friend, you know? Back in the day, now I have no friends. Except for all you lovely subscribers. You subscribers are my friends. I love you all. Thanks for subscribing. One of these days, I'm going to make it all up to y'all. How, you ask? I don't know. What do, what do usually you two people do? Scrap. Scrap. Alright, um. Want to see if we can hit that with the boomerang? Okay, bomb it is. Technically, you can, you can angle the boomerang in this game. That's why I asked. You want to see if we can hit it with the boomerang? All right, let's do this. Whoop! Ups, it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to jump it. Jump and throw it. Like so. Get up there! Woo! Perfect. Uh, oh, look. Fox is on my team. We just beat Fox. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to join you. Okay, buddy. We may be rivals, but... Again, I only say that because me and my friend would always have a Link vs. Fox battle. Fox, who's usually always high on every Smash Brothers tier list, so basically he's just considered the best Smash Brothers character of all time. Always places high on tier list due to his fast move set. Except for what? Maybe, um, what was it? Was it Brawl that he was terrible in, or was it, um, Smash Wii U he was pretty bad in? Got him! And there he goes. 
Yeah, the computer takes a while to die. So you knock them off screen, and then they're like, you know what? We're gonna just self-destruct. Pikachu, huh? That's the Pokemon I'd be for you ladies, because I want to get a peek at you. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go, you rat! I missed. Sit down. See? Told you you could knock him into there. Pika! 50% damage already. There you go. I have a bomb. I have another bomb. You can have more than two bombs out at a time. That's that's insane. Uh, there you go, buddy. What popped? Ah, oh, the red shell. No, this would debut. This would also come back in um, melee, wouldn't it? The red shell disappeared. What the hell happened? Right? And that's when it wouldn't come back again. The red shell. I could have sworn it was in melee. It might not have been. Hey, look! I got T Pokemon. Oh boy, Jigglypuff. Oh, and I'm so glad they did that for Brawl, bringing back like intros like that. Cause one thing I really dislike about Melee, besides it being, in my opinion, the overrated Smash, everybody declares it like it's the god of all Smash games. You know, John Tron made a video a long time ago that isn't on his channel anymore, but he made it the top 10 overrated video games. And one of them was Smash Brothers Previous, as in the previous Smash Brothers game, which I totally agree with him. I think the series just gets better and better with each installment. Okay? And then, like, you got people who keep worshipping Melee. You know, keep doing that, that's great and all, but don't be bashing other games for, you know, your game. No, I didn't. I didn't bash melee. I like I said. I just find it to be a little overrated. That's all. It's a little overrated. I mean, granted, yeah, it's cool to see some fast-paced action and all that. But in my opinion, you know, just seeing Fox, Sheik, and Falco most of the time. Sometimes Marth. Every time, over and over again, it's kind of boring. And I know it's like that with a whole bunch of other fighting games. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna pop onto here real quick, thank you. Just so I can get up there. I know that's usually fighting games. There's always a tier list and everything. And there's always gonna be that one character better than the other. Or characters better than the others. Alright, Link. We got this. We got this. Here we go. And. There we go. Well, the name of the completed with Donkey Kong last time because I mucked up. Hey, we did. Aww. No hitting Kirby. We just have regular Kirby. You can tell right there that that's all the Kirbys that are going to appear with their hats. I wonder. Yeah. Fun fact, too. Kirby team. I believe their hats come down on the order of the character select screen. So once I KO one Kirby, I believe a Link will come down. And then Samus, right? Yep, there's Link. Samus. Then we go Yoshi. And then, yep, Fox. They're the only one that skips over is regular Kirby. Because, like I said, the last one could be a hidden character or regular Kirby. Well, did I get the, uh... No, I didn't. That's a shame. Or is that only in Melee where you get the uh, special Kirby Team KO by Kerr? KOing each one by the time they drop down. Same thing with the Yoshi. No, you can do it in this. You KO them in the order that they fall down. You get bonus points, I believe. Yoshi Rainbow, Kirby Hat Complete or something like that. I always thought this was a fun matchup. It's because it's like futuristic Samus against this guy with a sword. Come on, Samus. And you know what else I was thinking about when I get to Melee? Remember how I said, I think in one of the videos, I forget, Mario or Donkey Kong, like I said, I record these back to back to back. Um, I said I might do classic adventure and all-star with everybody. I might also go and do event mode, because event mode is a lot of fun, and it, it, it just doesn't come back. Which, um, that might be my only reason to visit Smash 4. 
a Smash for Wii U because they have event modes, and I thought I'd just complete all the event modes in that. Because there's no point in me going to Smash 4, because, um, what call there? Like I said, I did online play with every character. There's no point in doing Classic Mode, because Classic Mode is terrible in that. And I did it with the Miis already. I did three Mii Classic Modes and three Mii All-Star Modes. Should go check those out. I did it with two wrestlers, two anime characters, and, uh... Did I do it with two anime characters? I know I did one with Bash the Stampede, which people like. I did one with Kratos me. And I did a Zack Ryder me, which is awesome. And uh, CM Punk me, which a lot of people liked. What was the other me I did? Was it, was it an anime one? It wasn't, it wasn't Goku or anything. Else. What the hell, Mario? Yeah. That's right. Self promoting my own channel. Go back and check out my other stuff. You'll love it. Granted, there is some stuff way back when that I'm like, oh boy, maybe I should do a remaster of that, but, you know, I like it. Like a lot of my Hyrule Warriors... Will you stop chasing me, Polygon Mario? And my Hyrule Warriors stuff is in very bad quality, but... You know, I was thinking about that too, uh, seeing as I'm Link. Hyrule Warriors... Definitely get a Hyrule Warriors costume in Ultimate, please. I just want to see Link run around with a scarf. I love the Hyrule Warriors Link design. Like, the scarf is a great touch and everything else. Like, I grant, granted, I love the fact Link has a Fierce Deity costume, he has a Tunic of the Wild costume, Breath of the Wild costume, and a Dark Link, but get, like, actual costumes, not just palette swaps. Like, Wario was the first character ever in Brawl to have alternate costumes. Everything else was palette swaps, and then it wasn't until... Um, yeah, was it Wii U 64, and Wii U and 3DS that... No, no, technically Link didn't, didn't have anything in that, he just had palette swaps. He had that one ugly palette swap from uh, Skyward Sword, which, you know... It was a cool idea, but they kept the hat and it made it look ugly as sin. Can't reach up that far? Damn. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's right, you can't run and grab items anymore, or in this one. Always a bomb. No matter what I do, it's always a bomb. Ah, oh, the bumper. Love the bumper. There goes my bumper. Come on now! Fighting Polygon Team. And then the Fighting Wireframe, right? Was it Melee? What was Brawl? What was Brawl? It wasn't the, um... What do you call there? What was Brawl? I totally forget what Brawl had for their fighting team, if they had one. Unless you count the, uh, Subspace Emissary, which I did. I might go check that out. Again, I just get KO'd. Check out my subspace emissary. Yeah, do anyway. it. Totally forget what was. Oh, it was the fighting alloy team. That was. That was kind of lame. It was just an alloy of Kirby, Zelda, Captain Falcon, and what was it, Mario? Yeah. And again, I can't say that was lame because fighting polygon team is just basically, you know characters without any textures or whatnot. By the way, they should have made that an alternate costume. Like, it'd be really cool, like, if games like that... I know some of them do. Like, one thing I really wished was, um, another one. PlayStation All-Stars. That whenever you beat the game, you get a palette swap of the character being in their polygon form. I know, I bring up PlayStation All-Stars when I'm playing Smash Bros. Uh, it's because I really like PlayStation All-Stars. I really wish that game would get a sequel. I like, I love any, like... I can't say I love every Smash Brothers like, knockoff. Or, you know, copycat. Because I can't say Smash... Or, I can't say All-Stars is a knockoff of Smash. It's just... They just wanted to cash in on the whole big, you know, mascot brawling game. Like, everybody's been doing it lately. The Ninja Turtles did it. Freaking, um... 
Uh, what do you no! Where's my jump? Oh, there they are. And you got games like Brawlhalla and all that. Which, you know, it's just a formula like people enjoy. They like the idea of knocking characters off or whatever, but, you know, PlayStation All Stars did something else, which, again, if they ever make a sequel, probably they won't. It's basically take away. Super's only KO and give him a health bar or something. Then again, and again, maybe the super thing, just bounce the supers better. Level 1, 2, and 3, that's kind of ugh. Right. So, look at that. You beat it with Link. There's poor little Link just laying there, motionless, dead. Well, he's not dead, but dead to me he is, so. Anyway. Let's fast forward this. And we'll see which, in my opinion, one of the best, like, finished picture screens. Because they actually put some effort in this one, besides the Mario one. Like, that's really cool. I really like this one. That's like a really good wallpaper. Back then, like, if they updated the model, it'd be a lot better, too. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this Super Smash Bros. 64 our cl classic mode playthrough with Link. Stay tuned. I believe it's Samus next, right? Like I said, I'm going in the order of the character select screen with the original 8 and then finishing off with the secrets. My name's Klinkaratha. Thank you all so much for watching.